I've been a Mega Man fan for a very, very long time. As long as I can remember, really. I have very fond memories uh, of getting the game of Mega Man 2 on the NES with my dad so many years ago and having a blast with it. It is one of my favorite game franchises of all time. And I've been stuck at trying to find a good action figure representation of the Mega Man franchise for so, so long. And then, my hero, Jada Toys, came along and said, Hey, we're making Mega Man! First wave's gonna have Mega Man, Iceman, Fire Man! And I was set. I was sold. Uh, because by that point, I already had Evil Ryu. Uh, or, no. I knew about him before I even got any of the Street Fighter stuff. And then I got Evil Ryu, and he impressed the hell out of me, and I was even more excited for the Mega Man figures. And now, they're here. How's it going, everyone? Deceptibot9 here, and thank you, as always, for coming to another episode of Deceptibot9 Reviews. Before we check out Mega Man and Iceman, I'd like to ask if you like what you see, go ahead, hit that like button. Plus, if you like what you see and you want to stick around for more, go ahead, hit the subscribe button as well. It does really, truly mean a lot to me. Plus, if you want to make sure you never miss an upload or update or post from me, you can go ahead and hit the notification bell and follow me on all of my social links, which are in the description down below. And without further ado, because I just cannot contain my excitement for these figures enough, let's go down to the review station and check out Jada Toys Mega Man and Iceman. All right, and here we are with the Jada Toys Mega Man and Iceman looking so gosh darn good. Man, I just cannot overstate how awesome these figures are in hand. I was so excited when they announced that they were coming out with Mega Man figures and they were my most anticipated figures in so so long and Jada did not drop the ball here with these at least with these two uh, <laughs> my fireman uh, got delayed I had uh, from my guy that I get these from these two came in at the same time fireman I'm gonna have to wait for uh, the beginning of February but w once fireman comes in he'll be here on the channel uh, be, you know that already but yeah man these guys are just absolutely insane from uh, the amount of accessories they come with to their expressions on their faces to how poseable they are there is just so much variety you can do with these figures it is absolutely insane just all around so with all that said, let's go ahead, check out the details really quick. There's not a lot to get into uh, with details just due to the nature uh, of the figures, but we'll hit it really quick uh, before we move in to all the fun stuff like accessories and posability, all that, all that fun stuff. So, here we go. All right, we'll start with uh, Mega Man here really quick himself, just so you can see. You can see on his stock uh, expression here, this is the head he comes packaged uh, with on, obviously. He's got some nice paint details here on the face for the 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 skin color and for the eyes with the little bl blue pupils and I love the outlines around the eyes and for the mouth as well just looks really really nice you can see his little nose and little cheeks there just so much uh, like the the animated version and not the animated version but the uh, the the drawing of him on the box art from the Japanese games at least the not so much the American ones we don't we don't talk about the American Mega Man box arts. Uh, but the, the, you know the one, the sort of cute Rockman uh, drawings that we see from the original Rockman games. Very, very nice. And then, of course, I mean, that's really about it, like, for extra details. Otherwise, it's just all the blue here. So he's got the darker blue on the helmet with the lighter blue on the top of the fin and the sides with the red there for the ears. Lighter blue up there on the torso and the shoulders. Uh, the darker blue here on the arms. Darker blue for the... Uh, the the, the blue bomber outerwear that we love to see. Of course, the lighter blue on the legs, darker blue down there on the, the feet and the shin parts. And he, of course, has his red uh, little dots there on the bottom of him uh, right there. And Mega Man, just, he just looks so good. He looks so, so good. And Iceman as well, we'll put Mega Man back here. Uh, Iceman as well looks equally uh, as good. You can see his expression on his face. He's got the eyes painted in. He's got a painted up eyebrows, the, be the mouth, uh, which does have a little bit of red paint going on in there. It's very hard to see, but it is there. We get the white paint on the front of the hood as well as on the arms and the legs down here. Um, although the it's molded on the on the arms and the legs uh, molded white not painted white belt right here with some uh, gray dots studded around you can see all the blue on him as well it is a different shade of blue from the two on Mega Man which is nice to see of course and uh, on the back he's got his little ice tank little strap on the helmet there and right here 
on the bottom. He's got the red things on his feet as well. And yeah, I mean, really simple designs, obviously, because they're based on simple designs uh, from the original Mega Man games. But that's just part of their charm, man. That's part of their charm. They look so good. And another way they look so good is because of their posability. Yeah, I've sprinkled some pictures in here. I posted them on Instagram, yada, yada, I because I'm obsessed with these figures. But So let's talk uh, the articulation on these two here uh, really quick just so you can kind of see what we're dealing with uh, in terms of these figures because honestly, for how small they are, the amount of articulation they've got packed in here is really, really neat. For the most part, they're the same. Uh, there are some subtle differences between the two, mainly in the torsos because Iceman is, you know, a little... Uh, stauncher a little shorter um, so let's go ahead and tackle Mega Man uh, because his body type is the the main body type of this line so we'll see his articulation uh, a lot most likely but first we're going to start with the head and when I tell you this thing has three neck joints you would not believe it uh, but he does so his head here is on a ball joint just a standard ball joint up here on the head but uh, I'm going to pop the head off for a second so you can see better what I'm talking about here. So here's the ball joint for the head. The ball joint is also on a swivel uh, joint or a hinge joint, I guess. So you can hinge the, the actual ball piece up and down. Uh, and then the neck itself is connected on a ball swivel as well. So you can hinge the neck. Uh, down and up a little bit individually of the actual head, which is crazy for a figure of this size. It really allows for Mega Man to get uh, a really nice dramatic range on the head, which is just so, so cool to see. The arms do go all the way around. They go up this far. They uh, bend here at the elbow, single jointed elbow, but it gets it going to a full 90. So I'm really not complaining about that there at all. Swivels on the elbow as well. The wrists are all on swivels and hinges, so they do hinge up and down. Uh, all of the hands uh, do that as well. The He's got the ab, the ball joint ab right there, so you can wiggle around. You can crunch this far, you can go back, go side to side. And there is uh, some on the waist as well. So you got ab and waist, uh, which is the waist, I believe, I can't tell. I think it's on just a swivel, but it could be on the ball joint as well. I'm not sure. Uh, so very similar to the Masterverse figures, which I love. Legs go forward, uh, really kind of all the way around the legs go. They're on uh, little, little ball joints up in there, which is great to see. The legs do swivel up here uh, at the thigh, which is incredible. They bend at the knee a uh, little bit over, uh, just about at 90 actually, never mind, which is still great to see though. And they do swivel right there at the knee. The feet do pivot up and down and they swivel uh, side to side so you can get a lot of stuff out of there. Forgot to test the splits, but yes, Mega Man can hit the full, whoops, can't hold it. Uh, maybe the, so I'll give him a nine out of 10 on that just cause he can't hold the dang thing, but he can get full splits, which is incredible. And if we bring an Iceman here, he is, uh, exactly the same. The head is on the three ball joint system, although it is slightly limited just due to the shape uh, of his hood piece going on in here. It won't be going down and up as much, uh, with him, but the arms here swivel, swivel and, or, you know, they go out, up and down. They bend at the elbow. They swivel at all the wrists. Uh, all the legs do the same things. They go forward and backward. They go out. Uh, not as deep as Mega Man's, um, but he's Iceman, so you don't really need him to be, I guess. <laughs> they do swivel up here, and they do swivel and bend at the knee, and they swivel and bend at the at the foot. Um, and where it is slightly different here is at the waist. So he does not have uh, an ab and a waist section like Mega Man. He just has the one uh, ab waist section but that is on a ball joint in there for sure so he can wiggle around uh all like that so uh the amount of articulation and posability that are packed into these two for their size is just so incredible and i really can't wait for more uh of the figures especially that are going to be on Mega Man's body like more Mega Man, cut man elect man they're all going to be on this Mega Man body which is sick so all right now the other cool thing, let's talk their accessories here because as you saw in the turnaround, they come with a lot uh, of stuff that really helps for some of their poses and their expressions and are really just true to themselves, which I love. So we'll, we'll start with Mega Man's here because he has a little bit more going on for him. Uh, so of course, he does come with an alternate head sculpt. So you can see here, this is his angry expression. His eyes are a little bit different. His mouth is open, which is great. Uh, and since the heads are on ball joint, as you saw, you can just pop one head off and pop on the other, which is 
you know, super easy, super convenient, just like most uh, regular, you know, action figures that we're collecting these days. Similar style uh, swappability there. Love to see that. He does have alternate hands as well, so actual hands themselves. Uh, as you can see on him right now, he's got one sort of open hand. I use this a lot for his slide pose, uh, as seen here. Uh, he's got fists as well, so he's got two fists, um, just like this, and all of the hands are on uh, pegs. So, And then he's got this sort of grippy hand, which is meant to emulate the fact that he can grab his Mega Buster, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, and yes, all the hands on pegs, just pop them out, swap them around there, and now he's got different hands on, which is really, really cool to see. And then the other one that Mega Man has is, of course, his Mega Buster. He's not Mega Man without the Mega Buster, and this is cool uh, because it swaps at the elbow. So both of these arms are removable at the elbow. You can do it on either arm that you want. You just pop that peg out there. It is yeah, a little bit tight, a little bit wiggly to pull out. You gotta do a little wiggle action there, but it will come out eventually. Uh, and then you just push in the Mega Buster there, of course, boom, and look at that. He's Mega Man, he is ready to roll. He's got his gun arm out. He is ready to take out the Robot Masters. Uh, and yeah, I love this thing, man. So he's, you see on the Mega Buster, yellow uh, for the fuel, I guess, uh, and the red to shoot, shoot, pew, pew, pew. And of course to go with the Mega Buster is of course, gotta have the lemon uh, as Ego Raptor so graciously <laughs> called it many years ago and we still use that term to this day. Uh, it does come with this accessory stand, so it's two joint hinges there so you can put it uh, up this high or you can get it down this low. You can put it wherever you need to. Uh, Mega Buster, pew pew, right out of there. Similar to the, the Street Fighter Hadoukens that we got with the Street Fighter figures last year, um, it's the same stand piece uh, and sort of the same material on the actual uh, bolt itself, kind of a harder translucent plastic, which is really cool to see. But yeah, so that's all of Mega Man's accessories. Again, it's just the amount of, of stuff that he's coming with, uh, you know, gives you a lot of variety and, and what you want to do with the figure, which is, is really awesome. You can do basically anything you want. Uh, you know, you can recreate all the iconic poses. You can get him in basically everything. The jump, the slide, he can shoot. It's so, so cool. All right, let's cover um, Iceman really quick. Iceman, very much largely largely the same in terms of, our, of uh, accessories. Doesn't come with as much because he doesn't have a swappable buster, but he does come with uh, a swappable head. This head is swappable, just like oh, the Mega Man. He is a little bit tighter on the ball joint on mine, but still works. This one is more emulating his uh, when he's actually creating the ice from his mouth, which is really neat. You can see he's got two fists on, but he does also come with uh, alternate hands. One is the same as Mega Man's, this open, uh, straight out hand. They are all swappable uh, at the wrist joint as well. The other one is this sort of curved p uh, hand piece, which is meant to emulate, you know, just forming the ice uh, out of his mouth, and that plugs in just like that as well. No swappable buster or anything for him because he doesn't need it because he's Iceman. Uh, but since he is Iceman, he does come with his ice effect. Um, I, I do wish that they had given him uh, maybe a second one because he shoots these at like three at a time in the first game. But still, very cool to see this emulated in a 3D style. Uh, it kind of retains the, the, the sprite image, which is really, really neat. And it's on the same stand, obviously, so you can put it up as high as you want, uh, put the hands wherever you want to make it look like he's shooting the ice uh, at Mega Man, which is super, super neat. Uh, and you can have a lot of fun recreating battle poses with these two. All right, one final thing before we wrap this guy up is the scale. How do these two look with other figures? Uh, there's a lot of people out there uh, who are excited for this Mega Man solely for the reason uh, to have a more complete Marvel vs. Capcom shelf, which I totally respect, uh, and to see how that would look 
I don't have many options to provide for a Marvel vs. Capcom uh, effect, but you can see here's how the Mega Man figures scale with their uh, Jada Street Fighter brethren. This is, of course, Evil Ryu, uh, the only one I have at the moment. Looking forward to getting more, though. Uh, and then you can see, of course, this is your typical Marvel Legends Spider-Man over here. Uh, this was the vintage or the uh, retro card one from a few years back, uh, so you can kind of see how... Let's move these two over so you can see uh, Mega Man and Spider-Man, how they would look together together iconic team up in all in all actuality let's be real or if marvel versus capcom is not your speed you're more of a smash bros guy can throw in the jacks pacific samus and link here uh, and i'm sure the mario fits in there somewhere as well um, so you can see how your mega man might scale with uh some other nintendo figures uh, to recreate some sort of, sort of smash this scale is probably wildly off i'm sure i i'm Positive Mega Man is way smaller than these two characters. And the only other Mega Man figure that I had before the Jada ones came out, unfortunately, I've been looking for a long time, uh, is this weird Funko one. Uh, and I gotta say, so glad the Jada one came along because uh, it puts this little Funko one uh, to absolute shame. All right, well, that's gonna be about all for these two uh, while we're here up close. So why don't we go ahead and mega teleport her way back on up to me for my final mega and ice thoughts all right so my final thoughts on the jada toys mega man and ice man well i'm sure they were pretty evident uh throughout the duration of the video i cannot praise these two figures enough i have had a hard time finding even a single fault, at least with Mega Man. Uh, the, the Iceman, I wish he just had a little bit more uh, range, and I wish his other facial expression was a little more uh, neutral rather than sort of like surprised, because it kind of gives him very distinct facial features uh, that feel like limit some of their uses. But Mega Man here, just perfect all around. Uh, I absolutely love, love, love this thing all around. I think if you are just a collector of action figures in general, you should pick up at least the Mega Man. Uh, if you are a fan of Mega Man or Marvel vs. Capcom or whatever, you need Mega Man. Uh, you need Iceman as well if you're going to complete the full Mega Man lineup. I just, I cannot put these guys down. They are so much fun. Alright guys, so that is going to do it for my full review of the Jada Toys. Mega Man and Iceman. Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts on these figures are down below. I know we've been waiting for them for a long time, so if you are as excited about them as I am, go ahead and let me know. Let's talk all things Jade and Mega Man down below. And guys, without further ado, that takes us to the end of another episode of Deceptibot 9 Reviews. Thank you, as always, for tuning in and joining me, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Shut up and sit down.